Hi students, this is Dr. Guerrero. In this video, we'll show you how to properly format your paper to write uh, your margins and also your font size to be able to write an APA paper. So here we are in our course. As, as you can see, this is the Nursing 365 course. And I've put together this APA tutorial part so that you can access and get lots more of information. If this is not enough for you, you need a step-by-step -step, um, approach um, or you would like to have something written that you can follow with some screenshots, you can certainly do that. Okay, uh, these are all the different um, um, pieces of references that you can use in, or, in order to do that. If it ever fails to load the document, just reload it. Okay, uh, so that's one. This is another one where you can see that this has got the screenshots in it. The uh, sample paper at Purdue will also give you lots of different information on, you know, on how, um, you know, how things should look in particularly. Okay, uh, and then of course we're going to be using the owl at Purdue, and we'll talk a little bit more about that soon. And then in particularly, I've got some information here on quoting, paraphrasing, and summarizing that we'll go over in another video as well. Okay, so margins and font size. What you will need is to open up your uh, Word document. So here I am just getting Word uh, 10, 2010 ready. And as soon as this pops up, we'll show you how to do your margins and set up your font size. So it's important that when you first start out that you realize that the paper, uh, Word opens up and the paper that you're going to be writing is going to be using this font that pops up up here and the font size. That is actually incorrect. So we want to change that right away to Times New Roman and the font size has to be 12. The other thing you need to do is set up your margins. So if you go to page layout, make sure that your margins are this normal one inch everywhere. Top, bottom, right, and left. Okay, so just click on that. Go back to your home page and then you need to do find this line and paragraph spacing. You want to click on that and you can see Word is already pre-selected 1.15. Well, I don't want that because uh, APA in particular says that it has to be two uh, double space. So you want to use two. And then the other thing that Word does, it's kind of quirky, I don't know why it does it, but it always adds a space after the paragraph. So you want to make sure that you remove the space after the paragraph, because if not, it will not be truly a, a double spaced paper. So this is the way you want your line spacing options to read. You want the 2.0 checked, and you want both of these to say add space before, but you don't click on those, okay? Just make sure that both of them say add. So that is a, <clears throat> a, a really short and quick, dirty way of how to set up your margins and your font size for APA, uh, according to APA. Thanks.